good to meet you slash see you. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Lovely to see you too. I'm um I was just saying I'm like I'm so busy this week doing so so many Zoom calls that I like have I've still got wet hair. I like literally I just have not had time to even dry my hair for you. I'm so sorry. But um I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> I I still I haven't changed from the gym and the gym was ten hours ago. So we're all cool, man. We're all done. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Exactly. It's the new. It's the new way of being, isn't it? Exactly. And if someone two years ago had told you that you could put an album out and promo it from your house, I mean, surely you'd be happy about the thought of that. Yeah. It. It has been. It's been really different. I think. I don't know whether. It's kind of hard to remember, but I probably have done, I've been able to do more promo around the space of the album release because it's, it's on Zoom. Yeah. Um, so that has been good. And you don't need to wear pants. I haven't got pants on currently. Yeah. I mean, I have like nearly made the mistake of like doing some interviews. Like when I literally look horrific and I'm actually doing them from being in bed and I like, almost turn the camera on and I'm like, oh God, no, no, keep the camera off, keep the camera off. It's actually- <laughs> That must have happened so much to people. I just realized in the UK, pants are undies. In Australia, pants are trousers. So I didn't just mean that you didn't have underwear on. I meant you didn't have trousers on. Late. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, congratulations. The album has been out for what, f- three-ish days or four days now. And given that you had, I guess, a bigger role than ever before in the, you know, creation for this album, was there more, I don't want to say nervousness or fear, but anticipation for you? Yeah, I think that, I think there was, I think I was um, more excited than I've ever been before. I was really nervous, but I was so excited. I just felt this positivity within me about it that I couldn't really explain. So, and and also we've been waiting for a really long time. I mean, we delayed the release for like a year, so. That's the worst. I can't imagine sitting on something that you had put so much of yourself into for that long. Like, were you ever tempted to just leak it on cloud just to get it out? Yeah, I think I think Dan was in the band. I definitely had a few slight, strange, manic phone calls from him where he was like, we've got to just get it out there. It's just got to be released. And I was like, I think, I think maybe we should listen to our managers and maybe now is not the right time. It was like around the kind of American election. And I was like, people definitely aren't going to listen to it right now. And he said a baby, which is crazy. Yeah. Have you like, did, did you met the baby? Is the baby cute? Or how, has it changed him as a person? Oh, I'm so glad you're asking me all these questions because this is all I actually secretly want to talk about. Um, so I have met, I have met Maggie. I'm sure I'm allowed to say her name, but um, she is obviously I'm biased, but the cutest baby I have ever seen. Um, when, when she was born, she was the spitting image of Dan. I've never seen anything like it. She may as well have come out of the womb holding a guitar. I was like, this is, this is crazy. She's now started to like, look a lot more like her mom. Um, and yeah, he's doing good. Like he's, he, it has changed him. Yeah. I think he's the happiest he's ever been. So that's really lovely. (laughs) That makes me so happy. I'm currently four months pregnant with our first and my husband is like I just hope it looks like you I'm like no I want it to look like you with like I want it to be like a little guy you know it'd be so cute oh, yeah I mean be careful what you wish for because it's kind of freaky but if it when it comes out looking exactly like the dad if it has it's a- kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um and let's about uh, the actual title of the album, Californian Soil, because, you know, you're a band called London Grammar. You're very much, we associate you with being an English band, yet this is very distinctly about an experience that's happened far from home. So, so what's mm. 
Yeah, it's, it's funny that you asked that question because I do remember when I when I told everyone like our team like oh it's called Californian soil everyone was like that doesn't make any sense no one's going to understand that and I was like exactly <laughs> that's what I want <laughs> um, <laughs> and I guess like it was basically that song was one of the first songs that we wrote for the album and it just I have such a deep emotional connection to it um, it is about something very personal, you know, to me. And it just felt like I just wanted the album to be called that, you know? You can decide that because you're the boss. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't, it's not really the, I don't really have the best answer. I just, that's what I wanted. <laughs> best answer. It's an honest answer. And that's all I ever want. And you're coming here. You don't understand. Like no one's coming to Australia. We're like our little island living our best lives. But no one, you know, we haven't seen a tour poster for a non-Australian band in a very long time. So they're a really great vibe at the moment when we're like, oh, could this be the start of, you know, something wonderful again? So this is a huge thing for you guys to commit to. You've actually put, you know, 2022 dates around an Australian tour. Is this something that may have not happened What's the process here? So I think we felt like, you know, obviously you guys are basically out of lockdown essentially. So we thought, you know, if there is one place that we can kind of, even if we have to quarantine, I think we can do this, I think. And um, obviously you guys have been so monumentally supportive of us and it's been one of the biggest things, well, it was the biggest change in our career really. So coming to Australia, means a lot to us and we were like we really want to try and make this happen and quarantining in Australia as well will just be great because even your room service in your hotels and just the coffee is just so good that I will be very happy <laughs> ah, the true person who really knows Australia well, we cannot wait for you to quarantine with us and enjoy our great coffee and room service and most importantly we just cannot wait to see you guys live again. So thank you for making it a priority and we'll see you next year, baby. Yeah, see you there. I can't wait. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. You too. See you soon. Bye.